Susan. Toby turned and a pile of poo. Splash! Toby turned and is born. He is brown like milk chocolate, but he doesn't smell as sweet. In the toilet bowl, Toby turned shivers. The water was cold, nothing like Billy's belly. Inside Billy's belly, Toby Toad felt safe and warm. Billy always hugged him tight. Toby Toad has sweet corn eyes, and above him is Billy's bum. Billy's buttocks are pink and round. Let me back in, he begs. But Billy doesn't hear him. Billy wipes his bum. The paper is dirty and he drops it in the loo. The paper falls on top of Toby Toad. The loo starts to growl. The wave flushes the paper off Billy's head, but he can see again. Let me out, he calls. He tries to climb the walls, but the walls are slippery and the wave is strong, and the flow sucks him away from Billy. Down, 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 he is dark and thinks terribly. He hears water running but nothing else. Hello? He calls. His voice echoes in the empty tunnel. Toby Turd is scared. He's floating in wee wee and it smells like vinegar and it itches all over his body. He scratches his back and a piece of poo breaks up and floats away. Poor Toby Turd, he starts to fall apart. Suddenly, he hears a fart. Help! he cries. From the dark water rises a huge pile of poo. Who are you? asks the pile of poo. Piddle drips from his lumps and he creaks when he moves. The pile of poo keeps mounting higher and higher. It is massive. I'm just a little bus nugget, says Toby Toad. The giant scoops him from the wee wee and toots. You smell fresh. You don't. Toby Toad starts to cry. You smell foul. I want to go back to Billy. Don't cry. The pile